you guys just saw by those shots of the boss from way outside the park, I am here for Mother's Day today. And I'm only going to be here for a couple hours, most likely. But I'm pretty sure the crowds will be fairly light today because I saw that uh, a lot of the rides, I mean, I saw American Thunder, Boomerang, and Skyscreamer had like barely anybody on it. But I think that's because we were possibly expecting some rain later. And I think yesterday it was like hardly anything was open. I think Justice was the only thing open for like pretty much all day because there was weather in the area from what I noticed. I mean, I wasn't here, so I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm pretty sure happened because it was raining where I was at quite hardly. And we're looking at rain again today, so I think this is making the crowds lighter here. And I have not heard Mr. Freeze run yet. And Batman just did an empty cycle. So, I mean, I don't know if either of those are open yet. Batman looks just testing, but Freeze I have no word about. So, I'm gonna go to Just Sleep first since I'm actually here after the park opens for the day. And I usually would rope drop Eagle. But since I'm here after opening, I'm gonna do Just Sleep first. So, let's go in and uh, see if we can get a good max in. Which, I mean, I'm sure I will. Because assuming something doesn't go wrong, which I really hope that's not the case. Because I've missed, like, what, five times this season already? So, that's not good. Anyway, let's go see if we can max out the score on this and hopefully get on fairly quickly without the line being too bad because I haven't seen anything hardly uh, with lines out. Oh, freeze now. Let's go see what's up with that. But looks like Justice League is first. Just maxed it out first try. Nothing new there. And Freeze apparently had an evac, so they're not open right now. And I'm gonna go check out the boss now, see how that one's running. Because last week, it was not running exactly smooth. So let's go see how that thing is running. And man, seeing this view of Excalibur not being there anymore is so bizarre. Change of plan, Mr. Freeze is open. Looks like this will be our next ride of the day. Got a good ride there on Mr. Freeze. And I had a crazy after a five level intensity ride on it. Like, I don't know if you guys saw my vlog from, I think it was April 23rd of 2022. If you did, then you might have remembered that I had a gray out that lasted from the bottom of the spike on the return trip. All the way through the overbank to the top of the inverted top hat. I just had another gray out like that on my most recent ride. And I think it's because I am like kind of dehydrated and it's like really hot. Like I think by far the hottest day I've been out of park for the season so far. That was just wild. saw the purple train on the boss running i haven't seen that train run in i think since like it's been almost like a year and a half i saw it run in uh 2021 that was the last time i rode it so that's cool that they finally have at least two trains going on it because i saw a yellow train with people on it and the purple train was uh cycling uh empty so i'm glad that at least boss was going back up to two train up now because it had one train uh it's the last several times i've been here so it's nice to see the ride i guess cycling more
I get to the boss only to find that it's down for maintenance. It'll probably be down for a few hours, and I'm not gonna be here all day, I don't think, so I'm probably not gonna get to get on it, unfortunately, if that's the case. So I'm kind of exciting. They've done a lot with rookie races since I was last year. I don't know if they got any more track to support Sunset, but the go kart track, they completely removed all of it. This is not how I remember seeing this. Like, this is totally different. So that's pretty cool that they're definitely making progress, and I don't think anything has really changed with the supports or the track or anything like that, but good to see that uh, progress is moving on with this coaster. Justice League is down, and now Boss is down, so let's see if the Eagle's gonna work properly. You're ready. That was kind of weak. Make some noise. There we go. They're only running one train on it right now. It's got a blue train going up once on there, but at least it's pretty much a station weight, so I can't complain. We're gonna have fun anyway, enjoy your ride on the screen, Eagle. The rest of your day. Screaming Eagles hauling today. That might have been the fastest ride I've gotten on it all season. That was just nuts. If so good, I'm gonna go ride a second time. And then I'm gonna go down towards Batman because Justice League is apparently still delayed right now. So that's just wonderful. I'm honestly skeptical if it'll reopen today because the outside was some weird thing to happen. I don't know what happened in there. I didn't. I wasn't in there. So that'd be unfortunate if I don't get to ride it more than once today. But I'll try and back in maybe next Saturday. I'll get some more rides on it for sure, hopefully. So let's uh, do Eagle again, because that was just ridiculous. I'd say that was even better than my rides on Freeze this morning as well. That's how good it was. just as insane as before. Do I prefer to Mr. Freeze for number two in the park? I might, I haven't put much thought into it, but Eagle, I feel like might be running a tad better than Freeze this year. I don't know, it's tough to say. For about the time last year, I think Eagle's running better than Freeze and then Freeze went psycho during Fright Fest. So I don't know, I'll put some more thought into it, but I think it might still give Freeze a slight edge for now. Although I could very well change my mind and put Eagle over. I mean, I don't know, it's, it's tough to say because we're talking about two coaches in my top 15 right here, Screaming Eagle and Mr. Freeze, and they're literally one spot apart. I don't know if I would take Eagle over Freeze yet, I mean, Based off of today, absolutely Eagle is better than Freeze. But in general, that I'm not sure about. So I'm gonna go check out Justice League now and see if that's open, because I'm not sure if it has reopened or not. front row as usual well not really as usual but a lot of times i've done the front row this right that was as great as always really intense and also super smooth I, there wasn't even the slash rattle anywhere it was like possibly the smoothest ride i've had on this all season like it was running great today but now i'm actually gonna go to justice League because i saw that it was open but i never got on it so i'm gonna go ride that at least twice more most likely and i still have not seen boss run yet so i hope that one's open but not sure if i'll get to get on today or not but hopefully it'll open sometime soon Got two back-to-back -back rides on Justice League, and both times I broke 700,000 with the second blaster. The first of the two, there was a group of three, I think, that got in the back, and there was like a group of seven, and they didn't want to be split up and necessarily to do three and four in the vehicle that I was going to get on. So I ended up getting the whole front row to myself, and then I uh, maxed it out. I think it was like third screen, got 700,000. I did the thing where I tried to like switch to the second blaster early, and I started that one in the second screen, and I think I messed up somewhere, so I didn't quite get it. And then on the other ride, I got 756 with the one behind me. I got 733 with the one in the front, so I was uh, on point there, and I saw a boss was going, so I'm gonna be hopping on that one now, because I haven't done it yesterday, and I really need to get on it. And uh, yep, looks like boss is on two trains still, so looks like they got it fixed. Bro, this looks so weird. This is where all the old go-kart tracks used to be. Man, this is not something I'm gonna be used to seeing like ever, I don't think, because I've been growing up with the go-kart track being here. So yeah, it's really weird to see this whole place looks completely different now. And I bet this is where part of Rookie Race is gonna be going right over here. So this might make it tougher to get some shots of boss. So like this whole section of the ride right here. But it looks That's like right, that might be where it's going because there's no way in heck there's enough space to fit it right over here. So right here, I think will be the best spot for it to be. So that's really, really cool. I mean, Yo, look at this. That's insane. Got two rides on the boss, once in the front, once in the second and back. Mainly because the flash pass users ahead of me got the front. So I figured I might as well try the second and back because that was still open. Why was that actually smooth for the back of the train? Normally the back is like ridiculously rough. This time it was not that bad. 
side. Like, honestly, front and back are fairly similar. Now, the front is still way better than the back, in my opinion. Especially since the bottom of the drop up mid course, which you see over there, is brutal in the back. Other than that, I mean, back was really good today, but front's still way better. And the drop off the turn after the mid course was hilarious. I was laughing at him on that one. It was so funny. I don't know what it was about it. But that was overall really good. Now I'm gonna go ride Scream and Eagle again because it was running phenomenal earlier. And why not? Let's go for a third time. American Eagle X. Eagle just jumped free for my new number two in this park now. That third ride I had on it was absolutely incredible. It was already hauling so much earlier this afternoon. And I got on it just a few minutes ago and I was stunned. Some of those way out in the woods, I was getting like airtime the whole way through it. It was just insane. Oh my gosh. This is Eagle at its peak, excluding night rides. Cause Eagle at night is just unbelievable. But since I obviously can't ride it at night tonight, I think this is Eagle at its peak. And now I'm gonna try Pandemonium out, see if we can hopefully get a good ride on that because my track record with this ride is not great. I always get very disappointing rides. So let's hope for the best this time. Although, knowing my luck, that's probably not gonna happen. And before I get on it, I want you guys to try and comment below if you think I'll get a good spinning ride. Vote yes if I'll get a good spinning ride. Vote no if I'll get a bad spin. And I'll tell you if I did get a good spin once I get off. And I guess we want to say a uh, decent spin because I there are some rides where I get some spinning, but and then at some points and others I don't. And I could be right in the middle, so vote yes, maybe, or no. For yes, I'll get a crazy spin. Maybe I'll get some spinning, but not all the time. And then no, for I'll get no spinning. Comment below your best guess, and I'll point out which one it was. And wow, it's a walk on. So, you guys better hurry because it's not much time. I'm not sure if you commented or not, and I'll see in the comments of this video, obviously. But if you guessed that I would get some spinning, but not a ton the whole ride, you would be correct. It was definitely the best ride I had on it all season because there was some good spinning and then there were like, uh, I think a couple different parts where it stopped spinning and then it kept going again. So it was overall solid ride for what it was, but what I think about the Ripping Mine Train, Hannah Moore is still my least favorite ride in the park, or coaster wise. And I think I might, but I haven't put so much thought into it. I mean, I feel like one good ride as compared to a lot of disappointing rides. I don't know. That's tough to say. And now I might go ride freeze again. Otherwise, I might go start doing some more Justice League. And speaking of freeze, you can hear it coming right now. That's got it. No roll back down here. So, uh, yeah, my two rides on freeze were good, but I mean, I would like to go do one, but I don't know if I feel the need to or not. Advantage between getting the round. Freeze are getting some more on Just League. I take Just League over Freeze, to be honest, because Just League was down a lot of the day. Freeze has been down not that much. So let's go down towards uh, Freeze and Justice League. Just found out that my mom and aunt are going to ride Mr. Freeze, and then it'll be time for us to head out. So I'm going to ride Justice League until that time comes, because I've only done it three times today. I would have done it a couple more, but it was down for a lot of the afternoon. So let's see if it died down now. Maybe I can get a Zen ride, although if not, that's totally okay. I mean, as long as I maxed it out once, at least I'm okay. So let's go see what line is going to end up. And yes, double sides, I'd say. So, let's see if we can do it. And just like that, my time at Six Flags for today has come to an end. And it's a good thing I'm leaving when I am, because there's thunderstorms in the approach in the area, it looks like, so all the coasters are down. Which, by this time, I will be marathoning Justice League anyway, but, oh well, it is what it is. Final ride count, it was five on Justice League, uh, three on Screaming Eagle, two on Boss and Mr. Freeze, and one on Batman and Pandemonium. I ended up spending a lot more time here than I expected to, but that's because I was like having a ton of fun ride with my mom and also my aunt, so that was pretty cool. Before you click off of this video, please make sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already, and be sure to comment about what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of summer. So if you're new to the channel like we saw, please consider subscribing and turn the bell on before clicking on this video so you get notified every time I upload. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park. So if you're interested, be sure to check me out there too via the link in the description of this video. I'll probably be here next weekend on that Saturday. And if not, I'm gonna try and do Aries Alpine Coaster with Ryan on Sunday. So it's probably gonna be the next volley from one of these two locations. So stay tuned for that. And then until the next time, I'll see you later.